Uh, we do have big news, though. Breaking news. A breaking development in the Breeze Cat trying to use his Frank Caliendo tickets to get a date with Saga. Do you he's finally just he's finally just giving up. Well, do you want a small clip of yesterday? Of, of, sure. Of our man. Yeah, because Frank hasn't heard this. Yeah. You, can I call you Frank? No. So, um, Mr. Caliendo. Nah, I don't like that either. Make up something. Um, How about Wendy? Carlos. <laughs> How about Windy Kitty? Is that a breeze cat? <laughs> <laughs> they, uh, this is uh, uh, one of our one of our uh, uh, attractive young ladies from sales describing how the breeze went about asking her on to, to your show Friday night. That is smooth. Oh, that's nice. That's sweet. And he's so, I feel bad that he's so excited. He's He has been so excited about you coming. He's a member of the fan club. He's bragging about he got the tickets the day before they went on sale because of the fan club. You can buy them early. He's got great seats. He's through the roof ecstatic about going. Yeah. And what has happened? You, 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 you've you never heard from your buddy and his wife-to-be? Never heard from them. Called him yesterday. I'm like, you really need to let me know what's going on. Nothing. So I've got three tickets and then my and then mine. Yeah. And um, any any um, any success yet, Frank, on working on that impression of somebody that likes Breeze? Uh, <laughs> 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 no, but actually meeting him. Wow. actually meeting him. I'm thinking, thinking about not doing the show. Would <laughs> <laughs> that be a problem? <laughs> in fact, I am, uh, I've got people right now, when I walked in, I was on the phone, I made it sound like it was my wife. I actually have a scientist working on a time machine <laughs> to go back to right before I met him. <laughs> and, uh, but uh, maybe, that, maybe it would diverge from the, you know, the reality that we know, and I do this. I'm Chris Hanson. So then, you know, you know. <laughs> so Breeze, you've, you've given up, and so you, you, you've decided to do something charitable with your tickets, right? Give them away on the air. All right. Nan, what what kind of deal did you work because Frank felt sorry for you? Um, that they would get to meet Frank after his show. That's what I'm telling them. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm assuming your show is still going to happen. <laughs> So wait, so now you're offering, uh, you're, just, you're going to give them away to someone. I'm going to give two tickets away. I'll right. still keep one of them and hope that I'll find somebody to go with. <laughs> maybe, 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 maybe a clone. <laughs> so you do it right now? Are we, you're fine right, with no, that? you want to save it to tomorrow since we're we almost got Friday. time for the, oh, we have to do it Friday? Okay. All right, Day cool. of the show. Okay. Okay. Day of. So Friday morning we'll be giving away a pair of tickets. Now they'll be. Uh, I assume well, that's going to be a great promotion. Uh, 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 <laughs> drunk. <laughs> hey, I say prom. So they'll be I'm seated breathing. next to you, I would assume. Yeah, right? they're all side by side. Second and row. The chance to meet Frank after the show. Wow. How did you not snatch up front row? You bought them ahead of time. Um, How much is the front row seat to his? They were all the same. They're all the, they're all the same. Really. But I didn't get online until like 10:30 that morning. Cause I had I waited till after the show because they didn't go on sale until. I thought you team. liked it, Bree. I thought you were a fan. Sorry, man. I let yeah, you down. Yeah, you're not gonna meet anybody. <laughs> <laughs> so we got second row. You know what? I'll I'll do meet but not greet. Just a quick shake. Yeah. Uh, thank you. Goodbye. It's like the time the Britney Spears people told Pete and a bunch of people backstage. She's gonna come out. You're gonna hold your picture out. She's gonna sign it. Don't look her in the eye. No, really? Yeah. Like, That's so stupid. What is that? Yeah, why would you let him even sign it? <laughs> <laughs> Do you get a lot of weird stuff, like gifts from fans and psycho crazy stuff? Every once in a while people send a note. Weird notes and some, some stuff. You, just, you don't want to open it because that anthrax scare five years ago. <laughs> you don't know what people, people ask. They, 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 they ask for things. They, it's always something. Somebody always wants something. If they send it. Oh, they ask for things. Like, would you please send me would, you, you whatever? Know, would you do this bit for me? Like, okay, I haven't, you know, don't plan on doing John Madden or something like that. <laughs> would you do this? Would you do? 
It's just weird. Uh, would you would you uh, meet my friend and Breeze Cat after the show? <laughs> <laughs> Will you dedicate your John Madden impression to to Breeze Cat for oh, yeah. your show Friday night? Yeah. Without saying, just so he'll know. Whenever you do it, it's about you're thinking of him. I might go sit next to him. Planning the show, I know where one guy's going to be in an open seat. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll just go right there. Yeah, right that'd be Wear a, a hat with a target on it. <laughs> <laughs> walk down there and put a blow up doll beside him. Dude, in the of <laughs> well, he may have one in the car. He can bring his in. Wow. And we all do, don't we? <coughs> Six. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have to take Justice and answer guy. Meanwhile, somewhere in the pit that was working. <laughs> um, so, since you're going to, your show is not until Friday, you'd be in town this whole time? No, I'm no. flying back to, uh, and apparently do hand motions on the radio. Here's a guy who's doing this just for himself. The same hand motion that Mr. Furley used to do when he was talking about Jack Tripper. Um, <laughs> yeah. He's actually Mr. Real Point. Here's a guy who got the reference wrong. It happens. Sometimes you get some bad informazione. Uh, no, I'm flying back to, we live in Cleveland for part of the year because my wife's in Cleveland, so I'm flying back there today and come back on Friday. So, sure. summer's in Cleveland, winter's in Phoenix? Pretty close. Yeah, uh, yeah but we're going, back to, we're going back to Phoenix next week. So, uh, be careful of those scorpions. They're, they're around. They are everywhere. Mm -hmm. they're, but when you fry them up, they're pretty good. <laughs> Well, thanks for first for being here so early this morning, yeah. and then for being willing to you know want to come back and hang out for the, the, oh, the I, show today. We appreciate it. Wasn't it. that I wanted to? I uh, <laughs> <laughs> I got a million, you know. I uh, no, thank you guys very much. I appreciate it. Uh, the, there was a, a, a solid four minutes where I had a lot of fun, where you weren't making fun of me. No, <laughs> no, it's great. Thank you very much. I appreciate it, and uh, I'll bring questions next time. All right. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, it's a. <laughs> Frank Kelly <laughs> 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 com, or uh, go to our website at htj.com you can see the pictures and link through his website and, and uh, the TBS thing and continue success man thank you very much thank you I was a doctor for all was terrible <laughs> 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 that's yeah, thank you very much